Uh, at MTV, we started using TriCasters about three years ago. Uh, they enabled us to produce shows we simply would be unable to produce otherwise, whether it was because of, of uh, logistics or timing or portability or, as you say, resources. Resources, I suppose, is code for money. We've used, we use the TriCaster for a lot of live circumstances, like from training camp or pre-game or post-game or live call-in shows during the week, but we also do a lot of live-to-tape stuff, and we're able to roll in a lot of material. In fact, what it's done is it's created sort of a viral, internal viral uh, community in our marketing group and everything else. We, we started doing shows on the TriCaster and really breaking down the wall. When you do a television show, there's just so much involved, and there's so much cost, and there, and there always is a wall there. Because when you, do a tele, when you do a standard broadcast television show, there's a wall between the viewer and, and the studio that you're in. Everything is, but when you, when you do something on the TriCaster and you're live and you're doing it you know, from training camp or from the field and people could almost reach into that screen and touch and feel your players, you're breaking down the wall and you're giving them access. And that's what we do. Because of the TriCaster, we're able to position ourselves nationally in a variety of different ways. Number one, online. You can watch our games live for free online, every single game that we do. Um, however, we're not deeply concerned about the whistle-to-whistle -whistle broadcast. Yes, we're concerned about the production quality, but what we're concerned about from the whistle-to-whistle -whistle broadcast is the 30, 60, 90 second world that we all live in. That we can now pull content, high res, low res content, now in HD content coming up next year, that we can not only uh, show on our website and show on YouTube and show with AOL Fan House, a deal we just brokered, one of our broadcast partners, online partners at Versus, uh, but we can also push that content out um, in a variety of different ways through some other content deals that we're looking to do going forward. Yeah, this is a true story, by the way. <laughs> Philip, you don't know this. And I don't say that prayer works like this, believe me. But I was praying, I said, damn, something's got to happen. I got to get something going with the show. And all of a sudden, brr, my, my cell phone goes off. Ah. And I look at it two minutes later, Philip Nelson. We want to give you guys to use a TriCaster. You promote the show and use it. It's been the greatest gift that I've had since I don't know what Hot Wheel toys when I was a kid. <laughs> and that's it. I mean, it's just an awesome thing. And the only problem with it, there are these stories about these Japanese haiku uh, poets who would see a blank piece of paper in front of them. And because the potential was so great, so infinite, so daunting, they would sometimes stab themselves in the abdomen with a knife. <laughs> TriCaster has given me that much hope for the future. <laughs> so hide the frickin' cutlery. <laughs> TriCaster, you know, we've got guys who are going to shows. We just did the ABDC finale uh, the other night in, uh, over at Warner Brothers. And, um, and we have producers from MTV.com, VH1.com, MTVNews.com, quite a bit, who, they're sitting in their workstations, they're creating graphics, they're saving it on a thumb drive, they're getting on a plane, or they're going down the street, they're producing a show that they did the graphics on themselves, they're ingesting right into TriCast, it's pretty simple, and they're dragging and dropping. Uh, it brings the creative so much closer to the production. Um, and that, as, as a result, just saves all kinds of costs everywhere. I mean, it's obvious we don't have to go through it, but it just saves all kinds of costs. That's the big deal to us. Brings the creative close to production. Um, th that's the big get. This is our growth area because of the cost savings, because we can train an intern, okay, to run the TriCaster and do our shows during the week. And okay, so if we have our pregame show, we bring in a couple more people and we have some more cameras and so forth, but still the costs are minimal. We have interns in our place, running the TriCaster, doing our live call-in shows, doing some of our tape shows, ingesting the footage, cutting stuff right on the TriCaster, and outputting and archiving. And really, it's an incredible thing at the local level that you know you have to, you know, like what he's saying, we have bean counters there too. And, I'm sorry, Jeff. <laughs> but anyway, it, it's just, it's just, to me, it is. It's a, as I said before, it's a no-brainer. I don't know. I don't know why. Like every university isn't doing this. I know many are, but you know, this is something that's a must and something that totally is the future. If we didn't have this technology and they'd be able to, and the ability to communicate with this footage to our broadcast partners, we lose out on a great opportunity to grow our brand nationally. So it's important that we continue to do that when we have this high-resolution content to make it available to make us relevant. 
Secondly, on a local level, it's very, very important for our teams. And I'm sure we'll probably talk later about the cost effectiveness of this model and how it's changed everything that we do. But locally, teams can take this content and they have their whistle to whistle broadcast, but they can now negotiate local broadcast deals like never before because there's zero cost. And there's some HR cost. But now if you're a team president or a team owner, you can walk into your RSN or your local cable operator and say, hey, I've got NBA caliber content. Here's the production value. Take a look at it. I can deliver this to you for little cost or no cost. And we can work out a rev share or I want half the commercials, so on and so forth. So there's minimal costs. We can stream it live and also broadcast it live at the same time, which a couple of our teams do. Or we can do, do it in the tape delay format for those that are worried about how the actual broad, live broadcast could affect their attendance. A second way that this helps us locally is teams can cut up these highlights, these 30, 60, 90 second highlights, and turn them over to their local broadcast partners in market to show on the news. As we all know, our news sources are getting smaller and smaller, and it's almost like the one-man band with a cymbal between his knees and the bass drum and the kazoo. Uh, these local reporters have too much to do without any resources. So if we were to call into one of our, our local um, affiliates and say, hey, we've got this great matchup tonight, these two top draft picks are going head-to-head, -head. they may say, you know, I appreciate it. The news director would say, you know, but we've got to go cover this local high school volleyball game. Or, you know, Boise State University has a big bowl game that's going on. Sorry, we can't cover you. We can say, no problem. We're going to give this on a stick drive to an intern. He or she will drop in after the game, and boom, now our highlights get on locally, and we're doing a service for our local affiliates as well. So nationally and locally, this is very, very important to us. And then the monetization of that, I'm sure we'll talk about later as well. What happened is we started to get a lot of sponsors. We, had, um, we have a show called Rewind, which is, which is on Mondays, and then it's on, on demand all week, which is a wrap, a 15-minute wrap-up of the game. We take the best highlights, the best sound bites, all the access that you don't get on the network, the behind-the-bench shots, the locker room shots, the key sound bites, the up-close, and you know the, 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 the angles that we shoot from the field, we're giving our fans something that they didn't see in the broadcast. We're putting that together. We're shooting that live to tape. It's not a live show. It's live to tape. Turning it around really fast and putting that out on the web on Monday nights, so our fans, so anybody could see the game in 15 minutes. Um, I think that New Tech and their products, obviously, it's not a, not a secret anymore. But it was so amazing to us that you can do so much for so little and have a guy like me be able to work a mouse and put together you know, this video production and, and look great, I just don't understand why, why more people aren't using this at every single level possible. It really is amazing. It's helped revolutionize the cost structure.